Hello everyone, this is Alphamonster4 and today we'll be doing the iridescent photo, I believe. I will probably put the poke in like the description. Pretty much that iridescent makes it that every time we down the survivor, we put the survivor in the in the in the dying state, we get our part we get a uh, night shout almost immediately. What the heck is she? There she is. And uh, then we also have uh what's the poke called? We also have a really interesting hex build that I thought was gonna be fun. To mess around with, so I got it. I put it on. Would you think be using a bunch of hex books? Ooh. We have Undying at the moment. I mean, not Undying. Uh. No! 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 Dang it! That was almost such a good down. Unfortunate. It's fine, we can get this guy. No, no, no competition. Frick. Ooh, we still get him. We still get him. Still be on the gym. Nah, he wasn't. It's fine. We're still gonna die. We still have another uh, hex and die. It's fine. We could have had a llama value, but it's honestly not that bad. We still have we still have like all our pokes pretty much except for hex and dying. So we can get some more value later. I swear she was he was over here. Please no. I do that so I fall down. Yep. Now nah, that was good, right? See I can have some brains. I used the the hole in the ground in order to get myself into a better position. That was really good play actually by me. And now we have an incredibly good hook. We can probably use this for information. Ooh. Thank you. That was a really good play by me, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what she was at, unfortunately. It's fine, we'll get our power back before. I wanna fill that up for later. I knew it. There you are. There you go, we got our power back. Pretty much the idea of this build is that we're always just fun uh, switching out chases and always making sure we have our power up. Always. That gen's being worked on. Who's working on this? Can I do that? Thank you. 
We have plenty of time and there's no more. I right, dig it. Yeah, there's no point chasing that. Especially when that goes injured. Thank you. She's such a lovely girl. She just gave me a free injury for no reason. Hey, friend. Oh, big. Big sad. That guy outlasted me, but unfortunately. For this girl is that she didn't. And we got another haunted ground. That was really, really overconfident. Oh, that guy's up there doing that totem, which I personally don't care about. Hi, buddy. Such a good build. Oh, they didn't even. Oh, they, they booned in. I still think fundamentals should activate on boons. Well, I see them, I just can't mock them. Thank you! I love this girl. So much. Like, I really love this girl. We didn't get a lot of value out of the first hex, the hex hunting grounds, but we got a lot of value at the second. Yeah, this is over. Break this first. He's over here, I just don't care enough. Unfortunate. I mostly just don't want them to mock me. To give up my power. Unfortunate. And she can't even mock me because she's really on she's really uh fixed there. So cool. I love that in part. How you can use the how you can use the uh the mocked effect on person who are still uh who are cloaked. I mean not cloaked. Oh. Not cloaked, what is that word? Yeah, mocked. You can use them. You can get the uh, mocked effect because they can't break you out. If you don't know why, why you're mocked. Unfortunate. So you can use uh, what is it? So you can if you grab someone like that, you can actually keep. They can stay mocked. Set that up. Oh, he did he did exactly what I didn't want him to do, unfortunately. Ah! 
He was trying to save his life for uh, to reposition later. Smart play, just didn't work out. And we see we have our power already. Also brought the, uh, what is it? The, that brown auto also just reduces the base one, the base recovery speed just to be safe. But if I really want to go, if I, I didn't think this build would work as well as it does actually, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So I probably could have brought like, uh, if a survivor gets exposed, you know, mark, they can get something, blink, blink, blink. I am here. Can I even hook this girl? Well, it doesn't hurt to try, right? Yeah, I can hook this girl. I can sky hook her. There you go. You got it. I don't see her anywhere. Interesting. Do I see Hatch anywhere? Hatch isn't there. Hatch isn't in there. Hmm. Oh, she got it. Nice. That was a good game. Even though I kind of played bad at the beginning with those miss, with those miss hits. I'm not gonna lie. We were able to get a lot of downs. I really like this build, actually. This is actually pretty good. I think Rafe can use it really well, too. Yeah, see, uh, iridescent photo card, right? Oh. No. What the frick is that one? Uh, pretty much we have, yeah. Ghostface card on camera. That's a long name, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the idea of this add-on is that we, since we're gonna, since Hex... Haunted Ground's gonna proc so many times, we're gonna just get so much value since everyone's just gonna be exposed. Retribution's gonna tell us where they're at. Pentamentals is some slowdown after they get to destroy all our totems, and Undying just get, uh, allows us to get a, a potentially un two Haunted Grounds procs. Or if uh, if it doesn't proc Haunted Grounds, at least it can protect Retribution, we can get some value out of that. So pretty much all these pokes are just all, is either early info, early strength, early, you know? The idea of this is that the build is constantly, constantly looking, constantly always trying to make sure I was either exposed, revealed to me, or slowed down by Pentimentos. Uh, and I also use this, uh, I also use when I mentioned the, the matchbook, which just decreases the recovery time by six seconds. That was just in case we can get more consistent downs on it, that we have at least our power faster, you know? Yeah, but the build was a total success, despite me pretty much not getting almost any value to my Haunted Grounds, but I got one down, and I will always say one down on Haunted Grounds is better than no downs. I hope you enjoyed, and I thank you for watching. This is Alpha Monster 4 saying, kill me, kill the kindness. Sorry, I'm saying, sorry, Vajrasi. People that play both sides, saying, play both sides. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit the like button. If you want to if you want to subscribe to the channel and join the Alpha Pack, hit the subscribe button. And if you actually want to be notified of when videos come uh, uploaded onto the channel, Usually I'll upload a video every day at 5 p.m. Central Time. But you can also check by making sure the bell icon is set to notifications. And making sure you always get a, a warning of when your favorite monster is out to play. If you have any build suggestions or want to comment down anything below. Like, oh, this video was awesome. This video was cool. Oh, I like that play right there. Comment it down below. I love reading it. And I love seeing your, I love seeing what y'all what y'all come up with. If you have any build suggestions and want me to do like a sort of build and it's like i don't know if this would be good do you know if it would be good hey alpha you want to try it out i'll be like yeah dude i'll make a video i love doing them they're so fun and i think they're really good and i really think they are some of my best videos but i hope you enjoy and this alpha monster four saying kill me kill the kindness i remain so i would people are level sides thing of level sides dang i said that terribly okay let's do that again folks this is alpha monster four saying kill me kill the kindness i remain so i would draw people are playable sides thing play both sides Thank you for playing both sides. I wish you all a great day. I wish you all great physical and mental health. And this is Alpha Monster 4 signing out. Peace, everyone.